Okay, uh, Mr. Christofferson, you just uh, spoke to the commission. What points did you have to bring to them? Well, my main point was that the first proposal that they came forward with, in my view, was the best for Hamilton Center because it would have been a riding that goes from Dundurn to Kenilworth, from the harbor to the foot of the mountain. That makes all the sense in the world. I was arguing about the community of interest, that, that unfortunately, when we have to be realistic and accept it's the highest concentration of poverty, it's the highest concentration of immigration issues, the environmental issues are very different, i.e. Uh, Randall Reef, and, and so I was urging them to go back to their first proposal and uh, and go with that one because I thought it best represented the interests of downtown Hamilton and the people that live there. I did, however, offer a compromise because I understood part of their problem was concerns raised by people on the West Mountain who didn't like initially the idea of going with an Ancaster riding, preferred to stay attached to Hamilton. So I offered a compromise that, uh, if necessary, I would be glad to continue to represent those constituents, which still allows me to have a downtown riding that runs from Dundurn to Ottawa. So achieving the focus that there needs to be. Uh, and I was pointing out the, the lack of community interest between downtown Hamilton and downtown Dundas. And that we ought not have uh, downtown members that are focusing on any other issues except those that affect our downtown. And we have a lot of challenges. Um, right now you represent part of the mountain, part of the lower city. Is that a workable mix, or are they two different uh, areas of interest? No, it's a, it's a good question. It's not ideal. Uh, it's, you know, I, I do most of my things downtown. The West Mountain is more of a, a, a suburban part, a bedroom community, if you will. Uh, but we make it work. Uh, we make it work. It's not ideal. Uh, the difference between th that and the status quo, where I have the downtown and the West Mountain, versus having only a part of the downtown, but all of the West End, and then all the way through Dundas, is that it, the community of interest is not the same. Uh, the geography is so different. Uh, and so I offered as a compromise, leave the West Mountain if they want to, if they wish to be in, a, in, a, in an urban riding and they're happy staying in, in Hamilton Center, that could be one compromise and I offered that up because it allows the downtown part of my riding, which is the, the biggest number of people I represent is in that area, it allows it to remain intact. And so my focus can still be on the downtown issues, which basically is what I was arguing. Don't force the MP for downtown to be looking uh, in areas like Dundas that are so different um, because somebody's going to get shortchanged. The issues are so big in downtown and the issues are just as big and legitimate in Dundas. Um, now, you may have a partisan interest in how the riding's drawn. Right now, you win uh, your current riding very uh, convincingly. Uh, Westdale, Dundas have voted differently in recent past. You've been around since 1992 as well, though, in provincial federal writings. How do you respond to, well, geez, you have a partisan stake? Yeah, and that's always the risk of appearing at these hearings, which is why you don't see us do it very often, because it's so easy to say, oh, well, they're just doing it for political reasons. I mean, fair enough, and, and one can make the argument. My response would be, when I ran in the west end of the city, I did win when I ran for mayor, although I did not win the mayor's race. The strongest support I had outside of my own downtown was in Dundas. So I go into this with a reasonable expectation that I would have as good a shot at getting reelected in that new riding as I do right now. If you had the chance to draw the boundaries, what would Hamilton Center look like? I, I, uh, I thought the first proposal was just ideal. Again, the, the first proposal the commission came out with had my riding, roughly, roughly speaking, going from Dundurn to Kenilworth, from the waterfront at the harbor to the foot of the mountain. That is an identifiable area that everybody knows. It's the downtown of Hamilton. I mean, under the second proposal, there won't even be a Hamilton Center name, let alone a riding. And so I thought they got it pretty good. And again, I used to be the alderman in the area between Ottawa and Kenilworth. The, the community of interest is seamless there. It's all, you could, we'd have to work hard to find the difference. But the difference between uh, the north end of uh, James Street versus uh, the Dundas is night and day. And so that was my argument, is that, that let's keep the, we have a lot of challenges in Hamilton. Uh, Hamilton can only succeed, studies have shown, like any other big city, if their downtown succeeds. Conversely, if your downtown starts to disintegrate and deteriorate, it's eventually going to spread like a cancer to the rest of your community. So our official plan notes that the downtown is critically important, the secondary plans note how important it is, and I'm only arguing that our governance structure 
should be done in such a way that they support us taking on these challenges rather than hurting our ability to take them on. And that's what I think their second proposal did. It hurt our ability to be as effective as we need to be in the downtown. Um, looking citywide, now we'll have five ridings that are within the city. Right now we have five, but one is primarily a Niagara riding. Do you think that that's the right direction to go? What are your thoughts on the other ridings as they're unfolding? Yeah, I, I don't want to go too far into other ridings. It's not my area. You can appreciate that. I wouldn't like people you know, pointing into my ride. However, I do thought, uh, think that it made a whole... Dean Allison represents a very small sliver of Stony Creek. So we haul him in when we need another MP to help us out so we can claim that there's six of us. Uh, but for the most part, his orientation is down the peninsula. He doesn't come to like the meetings we have with the mayor. He doesn't identify, and I don't blame him. And my concern is, um, it, it, would Dundas end up sort of being the same thing for the member in this new Hamilton West that includes you know, most of downtown, the West End, and, and, uh, and down into Dundas. I, the, in, in the new scenario, we would have five full seats that encompass the boundaries of our city and would have five people accountable to the people of Hamilton as to whether or not they were properly representing them. Uh, plus, it has one more full voice to the uh, cadre of uh, people who stand up and say, I'm a Hamilton MP, and here's what I have to say. Uh, do you have any? Yeah, I do. Um Talking about, uh, you mentioned, um, or Joey mentioned partisan, um, are you concerned that there are partisan interests at play in the what's been proposed um, in the writings? Uh, on the part of the commissioners, or you mean just in? Uh, well, if, if the partisan interests are being reflected in, in what's been proposed. No. Uh, I was very close to this file. I, I was the active critic uh, when the bill was going through the House, so I've been following it very closely, and we all knew that one of the key junctures was uh, who gets appointed to these positions. And you're always in the back of your mind as a politician thinking gerrymandering. Uh, the government being the government is going to do what they can to try to game the system. I do not believe that has happened at all. I have the greatest of respect. Uh, and confidence in the commissioners. Uh, we had an opportunity when their names were proposed to say something publicly if we had a concern. Uh, I'm a deputy leader of the federal NDP and I can tell you we had absolutely no concerns. We have great faith in their integrity, their professionalism. They're doing the best case they can. So uh, I'm not uh, at all believing that there's anything here untoward, i.e. gerrymandering politics. I don't see any of that. And I think the commissioners are listening. To, obviously, they listened very carefully at the first hearing because uh, there were enough people that convinced them to radically change their first proposal. I'm hoping that the consistent, focused message that I heard today from everybody in front of me to go back to your original proposals, if you need to make a couple of uh, tweaks here and there, i.e. if you want to keep the western part of the mountain in my riding, we can do that sort of thing. But I, I should point out to you that every single MP in Hamilton agreed with the first proposal. Mm -hmm. And to the best of my knowledge, I don't know this for certain, but my understanding is that MP David Sweet was sending in a piece of correspondence that would also say that the second proposal was not the right one. He's urging them to go back to the first one. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I think it's a matter of uh, sincere commissioners doing the best job they can, listening to Hamiltonians, and there's a clear message in there. So, uh, you know, I'm very hopeful, I'm optimistic that, that they heard us. I don't know what happened after I left, but certainly up until the time I did make my presentation, it was unanimous to go back to the first proposal, that that got us as close as we're going to get to the ideal. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have a safe flight back, Thanks. Ottawa. Thanks very much. Yeah, great always. to see you, Jimmy. Right. Now, just just for my memory, because I wasn't 100 percent, was 92 was the uh, first time you went provincial, right? No, actually it was uh, 90. 90? Oh, yeah, so that was when Ray was elected, yeah. it was 90, okay. Yeah. So, okay, then, uh, yeah, yeah, I wasn't. So it was Hamilton Centre, 90, 90.